I want to tell you right from the start, this is our aim, is to create a different type of police officer. And so as we open and say, welcome, a special welcome to you, I just want you to remember the words of the great American writer, as she says, that the greatest want of the world is the want of women and men who in their innermost souls are honest and true, men and women who will stand for the right though the heavens fall. And so I want to just thank you very much once again for deciding that you want to be a leader in this society and you're willing to embark upon this journey. Thank you, recruits, for that decision. Thank you. In similar fashion, course number 46, the training of course number 46, will be exposed to three core police classroom subjects. These are namely general duties, criminal law, and evidence and procedures. As part of the general duty subject matter, subjects such as police communication, police powers and duties, police powers of arrest, in the criminal justice system, as well as statement taking, and of course, the all important human rights are just a few of the areas that will be covered under this particular heading. As it relates to criminal law, <coughs> topics such as the Small Charges Act, various forms of larceny, sexual offenses, homicides, and related legislation will form part of the training material. As it pertains to evidence and procedures, the course trainees will be exposed to first officer of the scene training, introduction to the laws of evidence, methods of operation, judge's rule, and these are just a few of the areas that will be covered under that particular heading as well. Stepping outside of the classroom, the trainees will be taught military drills, self-defense techniques, and will participate in physical training and firearm training activities. The trainees will be assessed every six weeks or thereabout. The first assessment being an elementary examination, and this will cover just the first six weeks of the training. The second, aptly, the intermediate, will assess the second six week period and only those lessons taught under this period, during this period. The final examinations, however, will cover any subject matter taught from the beginning of the course up until that third period or about the 18th week or thereabout. Specifically for the final examinations, classroom examination will be broken down into three. So there will be one subject, one assessment for criminal law, one for evidence and procedure, and one for general duties. Four specifically for the classroom subjects. For the outdoor activities, however, there will only be one assessment per period. With the exception of the firearm training, which will be done in the last six weeks of the course and all three assessments will be done during this period. The firearm training has three assessments and these include the range, the test of elementary tests or what we call shortly the TOETs which involves some dry practicing and the principles of firearm as well as a written component. There will be also some aspects of professional development and this may take the form of English classes as well as time and money management sessions. If time permits as well, the course 46 will be exposed to the RSS pre-basic training and it is hoped that at the end of this we will have a uh, new cadre of disciplined, com competent officers who are willing to move the heavens and the earth 
to do what is right and uphold the course of justice in the uh, beloved federation. Thank you. Let me express our thanks and appreciation to you, the recruits of Police Course 46, for accepting the call to serve your country and your fellow men, and to assist in the preservation and restoration of law and order. By accepting this call, you have demonstrated true acts of patriotism and heroism. I am certain most of you would have chosen this profession or career for different reasons. Perhaps you dreamt of becoming a police officer since childhood. Maybe you have or had family members who have served or are serving, or you just look, it, look at it as an opportunity of giving service to your country and to play a role in nation building. Whatever the reasons may be, I want you to serve and to serve well to the best of your ability and to be an agent of change. I know many of you might have heard golden stories about the police training school. However, do not be daunted by the recollections of others. Gain your own experiences and use them to guide your own process or journey. This journey will be a challenging and a rigorous one. It will not be easy to travel, but the sacrifices you make will worth it all in the end. You will enjoy many sleepless nights, long hours of physical and mental stress, loneliness at times, being away from family and loved ones. But during these times, remember the reasons for your enlistment in this noble profession, and that should give you the impetus for not wanting to complete, but to be successful in this endeavor. You must be purpose-driven, motivated, and exhibit good work ethics if you are to succeed. Be reminded that the, the post that, that you possess, what is required to be a part of this organization, APISO, that is why you were chosen and probably stand here today, ready to face the many challenges that lie ahead. Conquer you must, conquer you will. Failure is not an option because winners never quit and you're all winners. At times, you will, be, you will have to dig deep within yourselves, tap into and draw from your reserve for your mental, physical and emotional willpower, and for some, even the spiritual strength to persevere. This training course will require teamwork. I would encourage you to form groups because teamwork is a collaborative way to achieve your common goal. Teamwork requires communication, respect, humility and recognition of skills and strength of each member. During your training, there will be no place for egos and self-ambition. So work with your coursemate, assist where necessary, and likewise seek assistance when required. Let me remind you that you are not in it alone. You have the support of the rank and file of the police force, your fellow coursemate, family, and friends. Being disciplined and respectful are two attributes you must possess. You must maintain respect for your leaders and your seniors at all times, even in the face of adversity. You must practice self-restraint and do what you know is required of you at all times. These two attributes will play a role, a major role in your personal development and training. Finally, the police training was designed to build your character, to make you well equipped to face the many challenges that you may encounter in the execution of your duties 
and to adequately prepare you to effectively deal with situations you may experience in accordance with the law. Not only this training benefits you as police officers, but as individuals as well, as you will acquire positive lifelong skills and attributes and be able to impart to or positively impact those whom you come into contact with in various communities. So, Course 46, so high, rise to the challenges, persevere, your greatest reward lie ahead of you. Thank you. I really want to say how immensely proud I am that these 30 plus young people have stepped up to the plate and have stepped up with the spirit to serve. I don't think that words can really express how immensely proud your people and the country must be. I want to take this opportunity to recognize the Permanent Secretary of National Security, Ms. Hall, to recognize our Commissioner, Commissioner Mr. Sutton, and also his leadership team. I want to take this opportunity to recognize the PSS from the Office of the Prime Minister and to recognize the chaplain and also our National Security Advisor who is here as well. Let me also recognize those from the leadership of this esteemed organization who are with us and most of all to really welcome the recruits once again. It may not be customary for this type of ceremony to take place with the minister, the prime minister speaking at an event such as this. It might be normally left for when the graduation would have completed or when the course would have been completed and you are what we term here in St. Kitts and Nevis passing out, meaning that you would have completed successfully and you would be, of course, ushered in as trained police officers. However, I think it is quite fitting and important that at the beginning of any course, that one should have the ethos of the organization that they are about to join, so that the correct mindset and the correct expectations are in place to ensure that during your course, you understand exactly where the goal is and you can position your campus to achieve those goals. And so that is why I think it is important. So that when you would have started your training, each second, minute, hour, day, that you are involved, that you understand clearly what is expected of you so that you can give it your all to accomplish not only your own personal advancement, but to accomplish what the organization seeks to instill in each of those who wish to become a part. And therefore, I think that the words of the commissioner, the words of those who went before me, and the words that you have been receiving thus far are very important and critical. We have been waiting for the resumption of training of our recruits. We are confident that the decision to move forward at this time will, of course, allow us to implement what we are seeking to do with respect to our national security apparatus. We can only enhance our law enforcement capabilities of the force if our officers are adequately prepared to execute their responsibilities based on a set of, set of standards. And therefore, I wish to ex express appreciation to you for your interest in enlisting in the police force and to encourage you to take your vocation seriously. The training that you will undergo has been designed, and you heard the course outline, to impart knowledge on the critical aspects of policing, principles and strategies of law enforcement, and you will develop skills through exposure to a variety of scenarios that would strengthen your ability to make the right decisions in ex executing your duties as law enforcement officer. I therefore implore you to be diligent 
in your studies and to develop strong interpersonal skills as you work together as a team during the period that you would be in this training environment. This type of work demands partnership and collaboration. Be positive, be committed to the motto of this great organization. Congratulations on being chosen to join the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force. And on behalf of the government of St. Kitts and Nevis, I want to thank you for your willingness to serve your people, to serve your country, to serve your region. Our nation is indebted to you for your selfless sacrifice thus far to national security and development. I am certain that you have a great opportunity to emerge as more successful, stronger versions of yourselves and advance to join the ranks of our police force. I therefore wish you every success as you embark on this career in law enforcement. This noble profession that will contribute to the safety and security of our Federation and its people. Whether in, the, in or out of uniform, it will be your duty to uphold our nation's laws and to protect and serve. We have every confidence that you possess the intellectual acumen and I asked the commissioner about your entry requirement and he informed me how qualified you all are as recruits and how pleased I am that from among the cadre of young people here in St. Kitts and Nevis that we could have, have, we could have the opportunity to bring you in as recruits. So already you are winners. Now the intellectual acumen of which I spoke, your behavioral and attitudinal strengths to be successful in this course of training on this journey to national greatness. And therefore, it is with distinct pleasure that I welcome each and every one of you to embark on this training to become dignified, competent officers. Therefore, I say that this training course is now open. Thank you very much.